welcome to the very beginning of my RuneFest vlog. I am just about to leave my apartment now. It is about 2 p.m. on Tuesday the 13th. Today is the day I leave and I'm in for slightly more than a full day of travel because I have to go to the bus station, followed by getting on a bus, followed by waiting for four hours for my first flight to leave, followed by catching my connecting flight in Iceland to Gatwick Airport in London. So it's gonna be a long haul. I'm expecting not to sleep that much and I just found out something. My suitcase doesn't fit in the trunk of my dad's Mustang because it's a fucking sports car. So what did I expect? Anyway, welcome to the vlog. I hope you guys enjoy it. I will see you at many steps along the way. All right, so I realized I was forgetting something. Snacks. So we stopped at, when I say we, I mean I. I stopped at a convenience store, got some cashews, some Nutrigram bars, some mixed nuts and chocolate, and then some honey roasted peanuts, which are, of course, amazing. I'm gonna pack these in my carry-on, so I uh, can have some food on the plane. Uh, I don't know if there's gonna be a meal, I doubt it. Uh, I think it probably costs extra to have a, a meal on the plane, so I'm guessing there's gonna be like a soda, and that's probably it, so figured during the more than a day of traveling I'm gonna need some snacks, so we got some snacks. So I'm gonna pack these away, and now I'm gonna keep driving to the bus station. My journey hasn't even really begun yet. And there's already been a fucking crisis. I got to the bus station, ready to park my car, go in and wait. And the entirety of the parking lot on the right side of the bus station is full, and the entirety of the parking lot on the left side of the bus station is full, so I have nowhere to leave my car. So now, I'm driving back downtown into the city to park my car at a garage, and my dad is going to pick me up from the garage and take me back to the bus station, which is all very counterproductive, and because the bus station was incredibly full, I'm worried that availability of seats on my bus will not be good because the ticket I bought does not constitute a reservation. I mean, because why would it? So I'm a little bit worried, but I think things are probably going to be okay, I hope. We'll update. Okay, I'm up here on the roof of the parking garage waiting for my dad. My bus leaves in 40 minutes. Made it to the airport, and uh, no idea where to go now, so we're gonna figure it out. All right, going through security was pretty easy. Didn't take that long. I now have three and a half hours before my flight. And I just have to sit here for three and a half hours, and then I get to board, and then be on a plane for six and a half hours, uh, and then I have a layover in Reykjavik, Iceland, uh, for two, I think, and then I get back on a plane to Gatwick. Uh, which won't take that long. I actually forget what the airtime is on that one. And my luggage will go straight to London, which is awesome. So yeah, I'm gonna go get some food probably. I was wrong. My flight is four and a half hours, not six and a half. It's about seven and a half hours combined flight time uh, for the first flight and the second flight. Um, two more hours sitting in here in this lovely, beautiful room. We board in 10 minutes and I'm so tired of waiting. I feel like I've been here forever. Which is bad, bad because I've been here for less time than I'll be on the plane for. Here's a fun fact about Tripwire. He doesn't sleep well on cars, or buses, or trains, or planes. So it's gonna be a really long night. I don't expect to sleep at all. I'm gonna try. It's probably not gonna go well. And uh, the best time to sleep would be during my layover in Reykjavik, Iceland. Because that's about the time I would be normally going to bed. But I can't because I need to make sure I don't miss my connecting flight. So over. I'm tired. I'm in London. I'm in London. I haven't passed out yet, which is good. I need to go find my friends now. But first, maybe I'll find some coffee along the way. What is this, man? I just traveled 3,400 miles, and look at all this walking I still have to do. I'm not even, not even where I need to be. I found Rob. Seriously, though, I don't hang out with Jordan in real life often or ever because I've never met him before. So the odds of me picking him out of a crowd are like none. So. 
it's Jordan. Boys. Hey. Don't speak. The crew. The crew is here except for Ibetta. Now we're gonna get on a train before we can actually get to the hotel. I think we still need an Uber to the hotel from wherever we're going. But look, Ibetta's here now too. All right, now this is the worst vlog clip ever. And yours is tied for this one. Hi, Daddy. to get to sit in that traffic. <laughs> Here's the crew. There was a mix up. We, we fixed it. This is our driver. He's a really cool guy. I just met him, but I know this already. <laughs> After much struggle, we made it. We did. We did. To the to the hotel that we're staying at. Look at all this traffic. It's great. These rooms smell bad. <laughs> it's too warm in here. And look at the view. <laughs> oh, it could be a long week. You put them like this. And then twist it. What are you doing? And then... Yeah, I... Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> it's perfect. Look at this t-shirt that Jordan made for me. Look at it. He put my fucking logo on this t-shirt on this t-shirt and look what's on the back. He put Stitch on the back of the t-shirt with my username so I can go around and sell out at RuneFest and RuneFest related activities. This is amazing. I want to wear this shirt all the time, but it'll get too dirty, but I'll definitely wear it. I'll probably wear it at RuneFest to be honest. I really like it. Dear Diary, it's day one in the room and things are already getting weird. Found a ginger. Hey, it's the wrong one though. All right, guys, ready? Day two in England. We're gonna go to the not shit part of London now. And uh, what are we gonna do? We're gonna go have food, right? Eat and then and we're gonna eat. We're gonna eat, drink, and be merry. Hey guys, just checking in. Jordan got sexually harassed. <laughs> nope. It's only been one day. Okay, so day two is winding down. As you saw, we uh, met up with Ben and Jack, and the two of them helped us get around because we don't know where we're going. Um, together, we ended up heading to Waterloo, and then um, Ben had to take off to go have dinner with his grandparents. We continued in, uh, I don't know where we continued. I was gonna say like further downtown. That, that's probably not true. We've, we continued somewhere, had food, and then we went to uh, Buckingham Palace, saw that, and then it came back. It took a little while, but we're here now, and tomorrow is a very special day, because tomorrow we have to get up early and travel to Cambridge, because we have all been invited to go and get a store. Uh... We have all been invited to get a tour of uh, Jagex Studios, so that's happening tomorrow morning. It's gonna be really cool. And then uh, tomorrow is Friday, so after that we are going to have to come back to this area and we're going to um, the pre-party for the RuneFest stuff, which is not that far away from here where we're staying. It's like 15, 20 minutes, so that's what's happening tomorrow. It's going to be a lot of fun, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to meeting other streamers that are going on the tour as well as all the people that work at the studio. It's going to be great. Okay, after almost an hour train ride and a, a ride in a cab with a driver who wouldn't speak to us, uh, we just arrived at Jagex Studios. <laughs> There's the entrance right over there, as long as anyone, along with the dumpster. There I am. So I'm we're gonna walking. go in, inside Jagex now, where we were invited for a tour. Uh, we have to sign an NDA, we probably can't talk about or show anything from the inside, so 
I guess we'll I'll share what I can afterward. Okay, we forgot to vlog. And when I say we, I mean me. I forgot to vlog except for uh, right before. Jordan says hi. <laughs> before we got to Jagex, so it's a little while later now. Took a shower, and now we are walking to have dinner and then go to the pre-party. Going further out. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> it's all about Jack. So we're at the venue now, but first we're gonna go to the built-in McDonald's. Holy shit, look at this place. This place was fully rented out for this event, and it's awesome. So, the pre-party is over. I'd say it was a success with you guys. Uh, yeah. We're mostly. heading to a liquor store now. And why are you so short? I'm sorry, I tried. Why are you so drunk, Chase? Yeah, Chase. Yeah, Go on, yeah Chase. Happy I think you're thinking. It. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Chase. Whose vlog is it? Happy birthday. Hey guys. So. As you saw, that last clip was very rudely interrupted by everybody I was walking with uh, that was right outside the venue for the pre-party. And while I was trying to talk about how it was, um, they decided to sing happy birthday to me, which if you watch my streams, you may realize is not uncommon, it happens a lot. People like to wish me happy birthday because it's an AOA to meme, I believe, uh, that was given unwanting, I, I didn't want it, but it was given to me by somebody in the KOA community. So I cut that clip short because I was like, okay, they're just singing me happy birthday now. I guess I'll check it after. So, I'm back in the room. It's about 1 a.m. I think some people are planning on hanging out in Rob and Jordan and Yvette's room. And they might stay up a little bit longer and drink some more and hang out. But I'm probably just going to pop in, say hi. And then when I feel like I could sleep, I'll come back here. Because I slept like shit last night, as you probably know. I think I recorded a clip about it this morning maybe like one hour max and that's not enough to for me to want to stay up really late tonight and then go to RuneFest tomorrow like I really I want to make sure I enjoy it tomorrow as much as I enjoyed tonight and for that to happen I need better sleep tonight than I got last night so I'm probably just gonna chill with them and uh, then come back out over here and go to bed when I feel like it um, that being said it was a fantastic night 
uh, I think it was like an additional 20 pounds for the combo ticket for the night before party. And I just have to say it was incredibly worth it. That 20 pounds made for a very good night. Like it's, it was at a place called Namco Funscape, which is, I guess like kind of ironic because it's for the RuneScape community. Um, very cool place, an arcade, uh, bowling alley, all, all sorts of stuff there, ping pong, uh, air hockey, all kinds of stuff there, and multiple bars, just a really cool, like, kind of like retro arcade clubby type place with other stuff too, and it was just packed, fully rented out um, for RuneScape and for this event, so it's like, everybody there was a nerd, fit right in, you know, and uh, sirens, and not only was everybody a nerd, but like, you recognize a lot of people because everybody, all the people who were big in the community for uh, streaming and for making videos were there, and we got to meet them and like hang out with them and talk with them and drink with them, and it was really cool. And I got a picture with just about everyone, and I don't know whether I'm gonna be including like my pictures with everybody that I got a picture with during this trip uh, in the video, or if I'll do like a separate thing, because I, I don't know how long it's, this video is gonna run. I guess I'm pretty long, but this, was a night to remember. We just got to meet and take pictures with and hug all the other streamers that I wanted to meet and I'm gonna see them again tomorrow at the actual event and it's gonna be so cool all over again and yeah tonight was just great so there is one thing I forgot to mention about the pre-party tonight that I totally wanted to mention in the last clip and it entirely escaped me um, but of course everybody was wishing me happy birthday as you saw in the other clip um, uh, but Jordan kind of made it his mission for uh, to go around the the whole night and try to get people to wish me happy birthday. So he got like a snap video of Lord Kirk singing to me. He got a snap of Curtis singing to me. And um, all that's well and good. But the thing that really caught me off guard is something that he had talked about doing. And I didn't think he would. I also forgot about it because, you know, it was a busy night. It was a really fun and exciting night. And they turned off the music right at midnight because it was time for everybody to leave because the club was closing. Or the place was closing, and right after they turn off the music, the D DJ comes on the speakers again and says he's got a couple of announcements, and he wishes Tripwire a happy birthday, and I was like, you've got to be kidding me, and like, we're all moving toward the exit at this point, and I'm like, in the middle of a bunch of people, and everybody starts like, <laughs> cheering, and I was like, I'm not sure whether I should be happy, and like, is this is what famous people would feel like, or like, try to disappear into the floor as quickly as possible, but... It was pretty cool that Jordan was able to pull that off, and it didn't even cost him any money. Apparently he tried bribing the DJ, and the DJ was like, no, I'll do it for free. So, he did get the DJ to wish me happy birthday over the speakers before he wished Bodhi happy birthday, which I felt bad about, because it actually was Bodhi's birthday. It wasn't mine. Mine's in March. But yeah, anyway, I just wanted to mention that. I thought it was mention-worthy for sure, and it was, <laughs> it was fun. I think... Uh, that's one of those things I think everybody else is always going to enjoy a bit more than I I will, but it was definitely cool. Okay, today is Saturday. We are about to leave for the actual event. Most of us are running a little bit late. Um, I went to bed before everybody else, and I woke up after because I still had a hard time sleeping, and uh, I just, I'm tired. <laughs> I think I'm coming down with a cold. Last night after, you know, not getting enough liquid and yelling the whole night my throat was really bothering me and I was hoping it was just because it was warm in there and I didn't have enough water or whatever but when I woke up my throat was really hurting me again so I think I'm getting a little cold but of course still have to go to the event and I am rocking the t-shirt that uh, Jordan made for me obviously because I mean it's the whole point of him making it for me right so I could wear it and I told him I would wear it to the actual event People can see it and uh, can sell out a little bit because it's got my username on the back, of course. So that's where we're gonna go. I think we're gonna do uh, do just that and grab an Uber and um, uh, show what it looks like when we get there. Thanks, and you are watching at RuneFest 2016.
just showing off my bank. All of my glorious stuff. I need to go collect my kingdom. I haven't done that in forever. It's nice, it's a crow and mouse. So, back in the room now. This is the bag that you get for attending RuneFest. Um, the night is not over. The night is still young, but Rob and I came back early because even though we really wanted to see what the after party was like, we realized that it was best to take it easy tonight. Last night we stayed up pretty late and it was a great time, but the lack of sleep's catching up with us, which is why I feel sick today. I didn't want to push myself any further, uh, but I figured I'd take a clip and show you guys what we got for attending. Let's go ahead and put this out. I haven't actually looked through these yet, so except for the water bottle. Uh, these are a surprise to me. We got a Runefest. Is this a candy? Or a candle? Yeah, it's the first ingredient is sugar, so it's just like a giant candy stick. It's Runefest branded. Got a little Runefest notebook. I I guess this would have been for autographs, but I didn't ask for it. Any autographs? Of course, you get a lay. Everybody who attends gets laid. Pen for the autographs to get a little rune fest button. We got, what is this? Oh, yeah, we got an eye patch. Uh, I don't know why. Rubber duck. I was told this has something to do with the raffle they were doing, a little pirate duck, but didn't do that. And this envelope, I believe, contained meal tickets. I was wrong. It's a little tiny coaster, old school RuneScape coaster, and the art, original soundtrack. I don't know what this is, but okay. And I uh, also got, this is like a lanyard with information about the event inside and all the cards. And I um, also got, you, you had to get a bracelet put on when you uh, first got there, so probably hang on to this. I may not wear it, but... I'll definitely be keeping it, so yeah, there you go. Happy birthday, buddy. Fuck off, Rob. Let's go find him. Oh my god, it's the real guns chili. Oh my god. Hi Simon. Alright. Jack. Other Jack. Canadian guy. Mod Rock's face. We are tired. So after going to Piccadilly today, we decided to take a nice relaxing break by hanging out in Hyde Park, which is this massive park in northern London, I think. Look at this place. It's huge. And beautiful. Lots of benches for sitting. I'm gonna go sit. The statues, Mason. What do they mean? So here we are on our last full day in England, and we decided we wanted to do something that we can't do at home, something exotic. Mini golf. <laughs>
guess who won mini golf? Hey, so this is the last day, last night. We're back in the hotel room. We did a lot of fun stuff today, as you saw in mini golf. But now I need to start packing, and packing sucks. So I gotta do that soon, and then I'm leaving tomorrow afternoon. So I'm gonna need to get to the, ho the hotel, the airport, at about 10 in the morning. And then I've got most of a full day of travel, and I'll be back home, and hopefully back to streaming normally, as soon as I get this video edited and uploaded. Okay, I just said goodbye to Jordan at his gate, and now I gotta wait to find out which gate I need to take because it hasn't shown up on the monitors yet. It was supposed to announce it like 20 minutes ago, and then it was like, oh, nope, now we're pushing it back. So I don't even know where I need to be yet. But I'm gonna wait and see, hopefully it's not too far from where I'm hanging out right now. And then I'll be beginning my journey back to the States finally. Can't believe it's already been a week, but I am excited to get back, get back out of my a normal schedule, in the swing of things, do some streaming, edit these clips. So yeah, I'll update somewhere along the way. So I guess that just about does it for my RuneFest 2016 vlog. I really hope you enjoyed it. I know it ran really long. I had a lot of footage that I had to cut out, even as it is. Um, but I just had such a great time, and I was there for a full week. So I had more clips than a lot of people, because a lot of people just went for the weekend or a day before, a day after. I was there for a full week, so I had a lot of stuff to show. Anyway, I, um, I didn't even include all the pictures I took with people. I'm not really sure how I'm going to share those, but I would like to post them somewhere, maybe through Google Drive or something. Uh, because I did get a picture with almost every big streamer that I wanted to, save for a few. And uh, before I go, I just wanted to say big, big thank you to Mods, Rock, and Maz, because without them, the uh, trip to Jagex HQ wouldn't have been possible. And, uh, you know, Rock is the one who had the idea to try to get us there, and Maz is the one who uh, okayed it. And as the senior member, she's the one who met us there, gave us the tour, was very welcoming and friendly, and I loved meeting her. And I just want to say thank you to both of you guys if you're watching because that made my trip so much better. And uh, an extra big thank you to Rock for getting me this birthday card. Not like it was my birthday or anything, but Rock got me this birthday card, which at first look... You think, well, why would you say thanks for that? That must make you mad, right? Because it says princess on it. But inside the birthday card is one of the best gifts I could have asked for. Because Rock went around with this birthday card and got all the streamers that visited the studio and all the JMods that were around, the old school JMods, to sign it for me. So now I have this birthday card with the signatures of all... <laughs> A bunch of the streamers I met and all the JMods that I met. So this is just like one of the coolest things that I could have could have asked for. So thank you again, Rock, for that. So anyway, that is the end of my vlog. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you want to hear some stories about RuneFest that maybe you you have questions about stuff that was in the video, uh, you can come by my stream at twitch.tv slash vw If you don't already follow there, you should. That's where most of my focus lies. It's less on videos, more on streaming. Um, but yeah, come and ask me anything about the trip. I'll be happy to tell you about it. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.